thank you. So, uh, <clears throat> just a few words because you say uh, just five minutes <laughs> to have some uh, some uh, more some question as a, a presentation. Uh, the the first uh, the, the start point is uh, about uh, some observation. Uh, as we 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 can uh, see this morning uh, with the other session, uh, it was there is. There are many uh, courses in digital archaeology. Uh, this morning we have a, a very nice uh, um, a panel of the, the of uh, a part of this uh, of these courses. Uh, but there are few uh, uh, job opportunities, and uh, that's a problem. It was it was uh, uh, directly connected with the um, involved problems of number of students. Uh, so we, we, we talk about the number of students uh, uh, just a little bit this morning, but I think it was the main problem. And the consequence uh, is uh, uh, in, the, in our university, in the little university, uh, the, uh, the risk of closure of some training. Um, the, other, uh, the other observation is the need of high-level training. Why? Because um, uh, this training... Uh, 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 we need to be uh, in line with the employer expectation. We talk about uh, this morning too. Uh, and uh, our mission is to, in, uh, your, in our uni university, is to train students at the archaeology of the future by anticipating the expected skill. Um, uh, we need uh, we, we need in our labs uh, for a research project uh, young researcher. Uh, with strong skill in digital uh, data processing in archaeology to conduct research projects uh, in the in the idea as a, uh, more as uh, digital archaeology. It, I, I think it's more in archaeology information science with a, like a data scientist uh, for archaeology. What we call uh, in France in Tours archaeomatic, but it's uh, the same. Uh, same. This skill uh, in, uh, in archaeological information science or chromatic, I expected in re I expected to in uh, rescue archaeology. Uh, so uh, we we know that uh, uh, in France, for example, uh, in RAP or uh, uh, private uh, group, uh, expected uh, archaeologists with a, a strong skill in uh, in uh, archaeomatic. Uh, from point of view, uh, the main uh, teaching challenge is to transfer theory, methodology, and tools from uh, development in, uh, in, uh, in our labs, uh, in research laboratories, to daily practice of, of uh, archaeology. Uh, in this way, uh, I, I don't uh, uh, present the, the, the cursus uh, from two, but uh, this, uh, this uh, picture is just to, to illustrate that uh, uh, we think the modular training extended to cultural heritage and digital humanities career is one way to uh, enlarge uh, the, uh, the panel of uh, uh, students uh, and the, the response in uh, terms of uh, job opportunities, to enlarge the jo job opportunities uh, response. And the modular uh, training is uh, uh, one way to, uh, to uh, improve the, the skill of students. Uh, I want to speak about just two uh, examples. Uh, one is the layer of uh, for archaeology. Uh, probably you have uh, uh, the need if about the lidar for archaeology. Uh, it was a new technology since uh, ten or fifteen years ago. Uh, now um, the need identified by the international community of archaeologists. Uh, we know uh, how to process and interpret LIDAR data. LIDAR data. Uh, we tried two, two, two examples. We test uh, in, our, uh, in our master's degree uh, a one-week uh, workshop directly connected with a um, uh, research project uh, so that the students are uh, involved uh, to, to manage and, uh, and uh, analyze uh, data into the project during one week with uh, uh, courses, uh, practical uh, activities, uh, one, uh, one visit on, uh, uh, on the field, uh, and the, uh, our production, our work, is the directly uh, useful for the research project. So it's uh, uh, directly connected with the, the, the lab uh, between the, 
Biography Connection with, between the, the teach, teaching and the research in laboratory. Uh, the second uh, example for, uh, uh, with the LIDAR is, of course, the trail, training and research on the archaeological interpretation of LIDAR. Uh, it was the four, um, uh, four, uh, uh, workshop. workshop, yes, four <laughs> workshop. <laughs> thank you, <laughs> thank you, Philip. Uh, so, workshop science uh, uh, 2011. Uh, uh, for um, uh, a group of around uh, uh, 50 or 60 in person uh, in different uh, places, uh, uh, three in France and one in uh, Slovenia, um, managed by a network uh, of, uh, of uh, archaeologists, uh, European network on more, more large as, uh, as Europe uh, for some, uh, some edition of this, uh, this workshop. Uh, the second example is uh, more actually uh, the need about the uh, open data in the in the um, yes in the in the, the field of the open data uh, about uh, the application of fair principle on uh, uh, on the archaeology. Uh, here too, uh, we need new skill expected about ontology and semantic web. This is new skill for uh, uh, expected from uh, some uh, uh, work in archaeology. Uh, in this way, is also a uh, national or international network, uh, as uh, just a uh, uh, point of uh, three of here, uh, Maza in France, uh, Ariane Neflus, as you, you know, is the uh, uh, second uh, 2020 H2020 project, uh, uh, Ariane, and the uh, cost section, the CIADA, uh, is a new cost section. Uh, in this network, we, we, the training requirement uh, is, um, uh, we, we make some uh, uh, training day uh, in our master degree on the summer school with this network. Uh, teaching tools uh, uh, are developed uh, with the uh, CDXRM game, for example, uh, with different ones. Here, like for the LIDAR, is the network of, uh, of uh, archaeologists. Uh, they make, uh, in, they make together uh, the training specific, like a summer school of workshop or something like this. So uh, what we, we we what I will say now is it's that we are able to um, to make this kind of uh, training specific training when we are together on the, this kind of of uh, thematic. Of uh, but uh, we don't. Uh, we don't have uh, able to uh, make the connection between all different courses in the, uh, our university. Uh, so, just some proposal uh, to the reflection uh, for the, the special interest group. <laughs> uh, one of the ways is to organize the mobility of students on teacher, but mainly, uh, principally, of students between the different courses. Uh, Maybe for the the CI uh, will be uh, ref, uh, have a reflection about a labeling for some courses, uh, but it need to have a sen to census uh, the, the the courses uh, in different university. So uh, the uh, the survey of uh, TID is a very good uh, uh, start point for for this uh, uh, for this census. And uh, uh, it uh, it necessary to def to define uh, criteria uh, probably from the, the special interest group. Uh, open the access as the CA of, for master students, maybe to present uh, some poster or, uh, about our work. And why not apply to uh, uh, create an Erasmus uh, Mundus to master degree, but uh, with which partners? Because we are very uh, a lot of uh, uh, of uh, university. And uh, which leader project is that? Uh, is that you? It's not me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>